Every time I asked about this weapon, the response I got was pretty linear. Yeah, it's okay. Hmm, not very encouraging, is it? Is that it? Is the Pantera just okay? Hey guys, hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today we're gonna be diving deeper into this Mastery Rank 7 primary weapon, the Panthera. I'm gonna be covering a cheap build, something affordable that anybody can build, but of course we also have the classic end game setup with a Revan. That being said though, please keep in mind that my builds and guides follow a new player friendly approach, simply because there's a ton of information here and I want anybody watching to understand how the weapon functions and how it should be built. So if you're a veteran of the game and already know most of this stuff, you can skip ahead or have a bit of patience. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the Panthera. Let's begin by having a look at how the weapon behaves without any mods equipped. For that I'm gonna need a couple of guinea pigs. The Panthera is a fairly complex weapon even though at first glance you might not think it. Let's start with the primary fire. This will launch a saw blade, a projectile of sorts which will bounce off surfaces. Now it does say that it can hit a target up to 3 times but it doesn't have some sort of guiding system like the alternative fire of the Phantasma would for example. So the travel time is not bad, again the speed of the projectile is not terrible and there is no drop off to it. Unfortunately the rate of fire for the primary fire is a that low. Now there's no stipulation anywhere regarding punch through on the weapon. It does have punch through on it, innate punch through. Take a look. If I am to hit a column of enemies and I'm gonna be getting some slash procs, it's gonna become very clear that I am hitting all of the targets in a line and these guys did not get hit. That is because there's also an argument or at least I fought for a second that the projectile was simply bouncing all over the place and hitting the targets again, but no, that's definitely not it. So yes, the primary fire will be going through mostly any target as long as of course they are in a line. So that's pretty good, that means that you can shoot a target, hit the wall behind it, then it's gonna bounce off and all whatnot. But there is an issue regarding the energy color. I didn't try to make it invisible, no matter what energy color I picked, the trail of the projectile isn't very visible. Also as soon as it hits one enemy, it doesn't matter through how many it goes, the trail completely disappears so I can't really track the projectile. So that's a bit of a bummer. In any case, let's move on to the secondary fire. This is a beam weapon. This is a full-blown beam weapon when it comes to the secondary fire. It will channel a frontal saw blade and as you can see it doesn't consume any ammo. It will only consume ammo when you're actually damaging something. And as you can see the rate of fire is absolutely terrible and the range, well, that's it. That's all your range. 6 meters and that is sadly pretty bad. That's about it for the alternative fire, oddly enough this was the easier one to figure out. Let's jump into stats to see precisely what we're dealing with. Mod capacity is gonna be 60 out of 60 and if your Panthera only has 30 out of 30 jump into actions and install the Auto King Catalyst. This one can be found from alerts, invasions or if you're lucky from the daily sortie. If you don't have access to the daily sortie by MR7 then simply progress further through the story and you will unlock it. Next, my weapon has been formatted a total of 5 times, but this was done only for the purpose of testing. For the weapon builds I'm recommending you guys, you can get away with free. The accuracy for the primary and secondary fire is 100. Now, if I was to put on heavy caliber, this is a fairly popular mod currently, it will reduce the accuracy of the primary fire to 25.2, which initially I thought, hey, that's not so bad, I can work with that. Unfortunately, as soon as you slap on any kind of multi-shot, the additional projectiles go completely haywire outside of the crosshairs, so for the primary fire, heavy caliber doesn't really work. But for the secondary fire, it works beautifully. Again, the secondary fire acts like a beam weapon, and let me show you exactly the impact on that. It just jiggles a little bit. Honestly, 100% if you want to build a weapon for secondary fire, 100% go for heavy caliber. For primary fire, sadly, not that much. Next, critical chance for primary is 12%, but for secondary is 25%, a much higher critical chance. Unfortunately, 12%, there's not that much you can do with that. Bonus, af uh, bonus additive effects, such as uh, Arcane Avenger, for example, or perhaps Harrow's buff. Yes, that's how you can get this weapon to crit consistently. Critical multiplier is gonna be 2x across the board. Once again, this is decent. And the fire rate, why so low? 3.0 in primary and 2.0 in secondary. And this is probably one of the biggest issues with the weapon. Magazine of 60 with a reload of two seconds for both primary and secondary, of course. And this is super solid, no need to touch these. 
Riven Disposition of 5 out of 5 which means that the Panthera is not a very popular weapon and the Rivens will be extremely strong. Status chance of 24% in primary as for secondary once again we got a higher value 35% and this looks so appealing doesn't it? 35% status chance with a crit chance of 25%. We're gonna be able to put it to good use but we need to mod smart in this case. When it comes to the default damage on the weapon you will see that it is a tad different from primary to secondary but the layout is mostly the same. Slash is highest by a pretty significant amount followed by impact and puncture for the primary fire as for the secondary you got a small amount of impact and puncture. So that means that this weapon is fully capable of slashing its targets to death and you will see it is quite potent. In any case, let's start slapping on some mods, starting with mandatory mod serration, 165% extra damage. Then we're gonna go to multi-shot, the best thing on mostly everything. When it comes to multi-shot on beam weapons, well, keep in mind that it doesn't increase the status chance of the secondary fire, only for the primary fire, because we're gonna be firing multiple saw blades. Next we're gonna go to critical chance and critical damage, point strike and vital sense. I know you're screaming at me already, but you said yes. We're building crit chance and crit damage not necessarily for the primary fire, but for the secondary fire. It's gonna help out a little with primary, but not all that much. 30% only for the primary fire, but the secondary fire jumps up to 62.5 and of course same critical multiplier of 4.4x. Next we gotta really decide what we're gonna do with the weapon. You can build it straight for elemental, for example corrosive damage when you're talking about Grenier or you can work into the weapon's slash value and make it into a legitimate slasher. I am a big fan of corrosive setups, 120% I would take corrosive any day of the week, but for the Panthera it simply doesn't work all that well. This thing wants to slash, so let's let it slash. When you're building a weapon for slash damage it's a very smart idea to build vital. Vital on a status proc will reduce the maximum health of a target to 50% for the duration of the vital effect. So in a way, for that duration, your slashes will be dealing double damage. The problem with vital setups in general is that if the vital proc falls off the target before it dies and the health boom jumps back up, then you have to reshoot it again and there goes your fantastic DPS. Vital is the elemental combo between cold and Toxin. We're gonna be using the 60-60 mods not because I want a thousand viral procs on my target but my slashes will be coming through the weapon's innate slash value so increasing my status chance will mean more slashes on the target. Toxin is gonna be malignant 460-60 for Toxin. Both of these are fairly easy to obtain. This one I believe is from Spy Missions and this one from Corrupted Vore in the Void. If you can't be bothered to farm from the trade chat these go for about 10 plat each. We still have one more mod slot left on the weapon and this is what I like to call the option slot. Normally I say listen plug into this one whatever you feel comfortable with but there's one glaring issue with the weapon the fire rate is really what's keeping it back so I recommend we have a look at some fire rate options especially considering that punch through is rather pointless right now. Oh and if you were to mod secondary for punch through your saw blade is going through the first target dealing nothing <laughs> doing absolutely nothing to it and hitting the secondary target so it's really pointless on the Panthera. When it comes to fire rate, well, speed trigger is always a good option. This is a solid choice, but my recommendation to you guys more often than not is gonna be Vial Acceleration, 90% fire rate, a big chunk over speed trigger at the cost of 15% damage. Now that 15% is not a huge deal, it's not uh, a multiplicative after effect or a diminishing in this case. It simply takes 15% away from serration. It's not exactly what it does, but think of it ex like that, it's simpler to understand. Another option would be spring loaded chamber on reload 75% fire rate when aiming for 9 seconds but considering the magazine size you're not going to be reloading all that often so this one is up 100% of the time. It's going to depend on your own situation but on, in general I prefer fire rate that is not dependent on anything. This is the initial build we're going to be testing so let's see what the Panthera can do. Is it just okay? God I, I hate that when that happens. Honestly, I was looking forward to this weapon. I farmed the meter when I was, I don't know, MR8, 9, something like that, just so I can make the Panthera, and everybody said, hey, yeah, don't bother with that one. It honestly made me sad. We're gonna go primary fire on the left column, and secondary on the right. Let's have a look-see. I don't know, guys, to me, that's more than just okay. 
For an MR7 weapon, that looks pretty decent. As you can see, you're getting plenty of slashes on your target. And of course, the viral proc is not a problem. Now let's try the secondary fire. Take a look at the damage. It is so clunky and awkward to use outside of it. Well, I'm running with a saw blade value. But the damage is insane. The damage is absolutely bloody insane. Now, I want to work more. Let's say, let's assume that you want to work more into this fantastic damage. Now, keep in mind that while the base damage is mostly similar, I think it's identical, actually. Uh, the reason why your alternative fire is doing more is because of the higher critical chance. That's pretty much it. So, that's why you're getting higher everything. Now, if you want to work more with the secondary fire, you gotta fix some of its issues. First of all, we fix the fire rate, yeah, with Vile Acceleration. What we can also do is fix the range on the bloody thing. If you want to build further into the secondary fire mode, because, well, saw blades are cool, you can go for Sinister Reach. Now, this one is awesome because it's an additive effect. You're simply gonna be getting 12 range on what you already have. It's not gonna be a percentage base increase. So we're gonna be going from six to 18 range on the secondary fire with Sinister Reach. 18 meters for a beam weapon isn't all that bad. Sure, it's not even close to the Synapse with its 30 meters worth of range, but still I can stand to a comfortable distance away and still hit my target with the secondary fire. And as you can see, it is quite potent. Giant slashes and the viral app will be absolutely murdering the target. So if you enjoy playing with the alternative fire, you can build something like this. Again, there's two keys. First of all, the range and second of all, the fire rate. And there's one more thing, Hunter Munitions. Yes, Hunter Munitions is a very powerful mod currently in Warframe and it will give us another source of slash on the weapon. Let's think about it for just a second. If I am to use Hunter Munitions, I'm simply gonna swap out Sinister Reach. I, I gotta sacrifice something and I can't exactly sacrifice Viral, at least not in this setup. Hunter Munitions has a 30% chance to apply a slash status to an enemy on critical hits. When it comes to the primary fire, I only have 30% critical chance, so you're not gonna be getting loads of extra slashes through the primary fire, but you will be getting some. As for the secondary fire, this one is 62.5, so it will work a whole lot better for secondary fire. And sadly, this is the build that I'm forced to recommend you, simply because it works better than the other ones. Once again, on the right column, we're going to be doing primary and secondary on the left. Take a look. Mm, that one didn't die, but that is definitely beautiful. Unfortunately, now I got to contend with only 6 meter worth of range. But take a look at the slashes, the amount of slashes, and of course, the values as well. Vital proc is not a problem. I only need 1-2 good vital applications on the target to fully murder it. And this is, once again, the build I'm recommending to you guys. If you want range, however, to make more use out of the alternative fire, simply go for Sinister Reach. None of these mods are expensive. All of them are easy to get, so have fun with the Panthera. Now we're going to be switching to a Riven setup, and a couple of things have changed. First of all, the Riven. Panthera Acri can with multi-shot, which is awesome, and critical damage, which is not that awesome, at least not for the primary fire. I bought this one from a viewer for 20 plat on rolled, rolled it twice and decided to stop with my sanity intact. Now, of course, I also swapped in Argon Scope and was forced to drop the Viral Elemental combo. That's gonna mean that I'm gonna be getting less slash procs from the weapon's innate slash value, but more slash procs out of Hunter Munitions, especially for the secondary fire mode. Currently, Panthera Rivens are very cheap. You're looking at, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 plat on rolled. Head on over to Kuva and see if you get lucky. That magic roll with multi shot and damage. Primary on the right and secondary on the left. And you will see that a Dispo 5 Riven does make one hell of a difference. That is definitely impressive. And again, you're not really spending all that much when it comes to Rivens for the Panthera, as the weapon is not exactly being played. And check the damage on secondary. The value on that slash, 8,400, another slash for 11,000 plus. And that's an effect that happens when you get an impact proc on, on the bloody target, which again, range would be so good on a build for the secondary fire mode. But as you can see, the weapon can tear through high level targets like a knife through butter. And that is definitely worth mentioning. This is not a weak weapon by any stretch of the imagination. It's a clunky weapon that requires certain mods, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Now, one more thing that I want to do, pump up everything with Warframe buffs. 
To get the most out of my Riven, I'm gonna be using Harrow, and it's true, Harrow can make most weapons shine, but it's still fun to do. I'm gonna be dropping all of the crit chance on the weapon simply because I don't need it anymore. Harrow will guarantee my crit. I'm gonna add more multi shot with Vigilante armaments and more critical damage with bladed rounds. As for Harrow, until now I haven't actually used the build so it doesn't pollute the test and all whatnot. We're gonna switch to something like this. Gonna draw a power drift and I'm gonna be using an aura that increases my rifle damage. Rifle amp 27% extra damage. Now these amp auras are not 100% worth it from my point of view. You can even use coaction drift though to pop up the value. But again, it's not a huge amount you're getting extra. Arcanes, however, are a lot more impactful. Arcane Rage on headshot, 10% chance for plus 120% damage to rifles for 16 seconds. This one is farmable from the third Eidolon down on Cetus. And it's one of the best arcanes when it comes to primary weapons. If you want to buy it from the trade chat, I believe it goes for about 100-ish plat. But please check Warframe market for more appropriate prices for your second arcane you do have some options arcane acceleration is one of them on critical hit 20 percent chance for 60 percent fire rate rifles for six seconds so you can do something like drop your fire rate mod and use arcane acceleration that is an option if you're not using harrow and you don't have guaranteed crits from some other source although i'm not exactly sure from where you would get Avenger is a solid option. This one will give you a 30% critical chance bonus additive after. So for example, if your Panthera is modded with Point Strike and you get a 30% critical chance with the buff from Arcane Avenger, you're going to be going to 60%. Pro and Argon Scope, you're going over 70%. So that's definitely a worthwhile option. For now, we're going to go like this as my critical chance is guaranteed by Lord Harrow. Unpause the AI so they can hit me and I can get my buffs. Harrow is a, well, seen or classified as a support frame, but he does have some serious offensive possibilities. The critical chance that everybody gets, and of course his second ability will buff up your uh, fire rate as well as your reload speed. He can also restore uh, energy to your party. He is a fantastic frame, and I highly recommend them. And he can also do this. He is very squishy, yes, that is 100% true, but he can also annihilate an entire room like nobody else. Who else can do something like that? Do I even need to look at the values of the slashes? Take a look at that. Absolutely bloody glorious. But again, this is Harrow and Harrow can work magic. As for the Panthera review, that's pretty much gonna do it. From my point of view, this is a great weapon. Sure, it's not gonna be greater than XYZ, but for MR7, this is an absolute beast and I do recommend it. As always, my name is Blazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you have any feedback for me or would like to request a specific weapon review, then by all means, leave it in the comment section down below. I can't realistically promise you that it will be done by next time or even within a week because these reviews do take quite a bit of time. But I will be reading through each and every comment. You can also find me on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, all the usual places. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.